Oh, we are live in the separated kitchen. Yep. Nah, just kidding, dude. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I'm I'm located in a uh, tropical island here. Yeah, where are you at? Same place. Yeah, pal. My granny got me this vacation that I'm on uh, for Christmas. So. <laughs> hey, it looks nice, man. It looks nice. Yeah. I'm having a blast. It's a little, it's a little breezy out today. I had to break out the long sleeve, but uh, yeah, overall we're doing pretty good. Well, welcome to uh, the Supplement Kitchen <laughs> news segment. Uh, today we'll be going through January 11th through January 16th of a lot of news. So let's get started. <laughs> All right, welcome back. Uh, news segment. We are here again, two weeks in a row. Uh, yep. January 11th through January 16th. Today. Yeah, January 11th through January 16th of 2021. Let's jump right in here. Uh, I'll get us started off. So Take we off. got Avi, our friends. We seem to talk about them every month or two months, but. Uh, they introduced a new flavor of their Super Pinks in the iced tea. Um, also, uh, they are set to release uh, two new drops in February. So one is going to be a new product, which is called Lust. Um, it supports a uh, healthy sex drive. So I may yeah. need that. Yeah, yeah. The older you get. Uh, yeah. And also a limited flavor of their Super Collagen Protein chocolate uh, covered strawberries. So, what two better products do you release in February than those two? Yeah. <laughs> Good marketing. <laughs> Just saying. Um, you can't go wrong. No, sir. No. And really, if you want to get a little tricky with it, you'd be like, babe, I got this new collagen protein. Why don't you try it out? And then <laughs> sprinkle a little of the, uh, the lust in it. Yeah. They're going to cause the next baby boom. Thanks, mm -hmm. Avi. Yeah, there was the whole quarantine rush. Uh, babies are being born right now, actually. Yeah, they're all being born right now. <laughs> and uh, the next rush is going to be due to uh, Avi here and Lust and the chocolate-covered uh, strawberry college of protein. <laughs> Way to go. <laughs> Put it in a history book. All right. <laughs> NutraFit, uh, their Nutra ISO is back with rebranded packaging. Yeah, we talked a little bit about this in our uh, review of the pre-carnage. Um, they are rebranding their full line. Um, this includes their Nutra ISO, which I think this is the first time they've brought it back in a little while, but I'm not sure. But <clears throat> that rebranding is pretty sweet. Yeah. All right, so one of your favorites. Let's jump right in here. ASC yeah. Supplements, they just teased the next limited edition flavor of El Jefe is coming. Um not sure what the flavor is as of yet, but uh, the last one they did was Snow Cone, um, and it supposedly was a huge hit. I know me and you've had the uh, Orange Dream Sickle, which was really good. Yeah. Um, so definitely interested to see what flavor they come out with. Yeah. Um, Impel Nutrition's Vein Stem Free Blood Flow Matrix is releasing soon, uh, and they also have some pretty cool apparel coming. Yeah, their apparel actually just dropped. Uh, Vane, um, we met James down at the TNS Christmas yep. party. Uh, really cool dude. Um, some great products. Um, Vane is actually right now, I believe it's being third-party tested to ensure everything is up to date, up to client in the way that he wants it. Once that is done, um, I believe it'll Can't be up and ready for sale. Hey, this product's going to be super cool. Um, I know Justin just got it in, so I'm interested to see. Um, I know he, he tested it too, so it should be pretty cool to check it out yeah i mean it's really cool for like you know average user you want to make sure like you know what's in your product but looking at like athletes who are professionally drug tested <clears throat> you know you have to really have a product that's third party tested oh yeah yeah that's why well a lot of uh, professional athletes their trainers or whatever won't even let you use you have like a select amount that they yeah. have to get so it's um, a mess but yeah, Impel is doing some big things, good things. They also have um, a new flavor of their regular pre-workout, I think, uh, or their BC, I can't remember. Um, and then their whey iso or whey protein, whatever it is. 
it, they are working on another flavor of that. So a lot of updates coming from them. Um, good things. Uh, all right, let's keep it moving here. We got um, Eclipse Labs. Remember, we worked with them um, last year. We did their Nebula, um, oh, that crazy pre-workout. Man, that thing was nuts. And then their, um, dang, I can't remember what their pump formula is, but you really like that. Yeah. Um, but anyways, they're actually releasing a sleep aid um, coming soon, and it's going to be called Stasis. So if it's anything like the other products, I enjoyed both of their last products. I yeah. think this one's going to be a good one as well. So can't wait to see that. Yep. Uh, Astro Flay releases flip mode pre-workout <laughs> and also the Astro Aminos. Yes. Not to be confused with Astro Glide. <laughs> so, so yes, Astro Flay, uh, we did their protein and we did their pre-workout. Um, what was their pre-workout called? I can't remember off the top of my head. But anyway. Yeah, nothing's coming um, this morning. <laughs> it's true. But this is the, the, the next version, I believe, <laughs> of um, – not the next version, but another pre-workout they are releasing as well. And I just want to throw this in here. The teas or the um, picture that they put up had the flavors grape lime, and all that the pre-workout was sitting on was the purple and green Gushers. Bruh, I'm sold. Sounds pretty good to me. Um, but yeah, and then they have their Astro Aminos, which is going to be released, I believe, in three flavors. Not sure off the top of my head, but be on the lookout for that because those are going to probably make some big noise. Um, all right, next on is Pharma Freak. Uh, we've talked about them a lot lately. Um, I know we've talked to them about testing some products out at some point. Um, they actually teased their next drop of Astro X Freak. So another product from them. Um, I think they're revamping their whole line, but good things. Okay. Uh, Destiny Formulation teases new pre-workout or maybe a reformulation of the original. Yeah, I'm not really sure if it's going to be a new one or if it's going to be a re, because you remember uh, Bro Dude or Pre Bro, whatever yeah. it was called. Uh, that was, yeah, Pre Bro Dude. Yeah. yeah, that was the, the original, and they haven't really done much since. They've been kind of quiet, but they just yeah. teased this, so... I'm going to say it's probably going to be a reformulation of the same one, but it could be a whole different product altogether, but we'll see. We'll find out. <clears throat> All right. Another big company, um, Morphogen Nutrition. Um, mm -hmm. they, yeah, their CEO was at the TNS Christmas party. We didn't get to talk to him too much going on there, but anyways. Uh, they actually released Morphobiome and um, a Vaso 6 product. So, dude, their line is expanding because they also just released their own bars um, yep. and a few other products. I think, so. what is the flavor? I think it's, isn't it like peanut butter honey or something? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, the one I, saw. I mean, quality products, you pay for what you get when you're buying their line is the one thing I would say with it. Yeah. Uh, and really, I see a lot of people right now jumping on, you know, Vaso. Oh, uh, yeah. Like, everybody is jumping on it right now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised to see more of that. All right. Uh, Fuel Sup's newest product, 1NMF pre-workout is here. So, In yeah, case we, you don't know, that's one nice motherfucker. Well, it's, well, theirs is nasty, but it's okay. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we did their, uh, their pre-workout review. Can't remember the name. Laced up or something off the top of my head. It sounds um, right. Enjoyed it. Um, so this should be another cool product from them. Uh, snack house foods, <laughs> they bring a new flavor of their puffs. My attention. Um, and all they tease is that it's bringing the heat. So I'm assuming it's going to be some type of spicy flavor. So it should be interesting. Okay. Cool with it. All right. Uh, core nutritional releases its newest flavor of, uh, pro in blueberry muffin. Yeah. Core is still releasing part of that rebrand, which is crazy. Core is just out here dominating. <laughs> Yeah, right now you got that right. Yeah. Uh, Cutler Nutrition uh, reveals, Damn. yeah, their new nine enzyme, which is going to be kind of a gut and digestive health uh, product. So, cool little ad there. Yeah, that kind of goes along with his brand. Um, G Code Nutrition launched their Life Greens product. Just about nowadays, everybody's got to have a greens product. Yeah, in today's climate. Yep. Mm -hmm. Evolution. Oh, yeah. 
Evolution Nutrition releases a limited bodybuilding.com exclusive of their uh, ign- in, uh, engine pre-workout flavored in Bahama Blast. Hmm. Damn. Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, Blackstone Labs introduces Fruity Cereal Mick to their isolation. Yeah. So now Fruity Cereal is becoming that, like, staple mm-hmm. flavor, it seems like. And yeah. truly... Chocolate, vanilla, it. fruity cereal. Yeah. <laughs> but truly, I've only seen it done right like two or three times so far. At least, in, you know, it tastes yeah. like a subjective thing, but for me. Yeah, when you're talking about protein, you kind of want it to taste good. No, you want it to taste good. <laughs> uh, another <laughs> farm uh, adds refreshing blackberry mojito to the Nova Pump Neuro. Remember, we did the Nova Pump unicorn yep. candy flavor we never got to try the neuro but they're adding another flavor good good ad there uh muscle sports brings back their og flavor of lean way lean charms with a whole new look yeah so muscle sport um they teased at the beginning of this year they were really quiet last year they had some drops but this year they are looking to rebrand their whole line so we're gonna actually probably see a re- them in, in the running for a top rebrand uh, of the year. Yep. Uh, Vital Protein announces the release of their own bar. It's going to contain three flavors, vanilla, coconut, chocolate, almond, and salty chocolate peanut. So mm. Vital Protein, they're in like Walmart and Target and all those type of stores. So yeah. Releasing this is actually pretty smart for them. Yep. Jump into that market. Uh, Man Sports releases PRXT Recomp Agent. Sir, Man Sports is still going through a rebrand as well, um, releasing additional products, so that's going to be interesting. <clears throat> uh, Warrior Greens uh, teases a new product release coming soon, which is going to be called Warrior Move. Um, and, it, and it sounds like it's going to be like a recovery slash inflammation support product. So they already have their, their staple product is their greens. Um, yeah, pretty good. That's all that they have, and um, they're moving to a second product. So, <clears throat> all right, Finiflex, uh takes a new spin on their original oatmeal protein pies uh, by creating a protein powder. Yeah. Good news is it's going to be 386 calories per serving. Uh, mass yeah. gainer 101. Yeah. So it's. Yeah, all they're doing is putting their oatmeal pies into a protein powder. So I guess we uh, are going to see. Tex- Hopefully the texture is better. If they find a way to make the texture on the protein shake a little rough, I think it's uh, it's probably going to include oats in the protein to try. And, yeah, uh, will, I would imagine it's probably going to be some kind of all around. Yeah, uh, meal shake, meal replacement. Yeah, well. I mean, anything's an upgrade from... I look, as long as they leave that icing out of it, I'm cool. Oh, God. Oh, and it God. better not be any weird green color either. <laughs> we'll keep moving on that note. <coughs> uh, Chaos Crew uh, makes over its shred fat burner and gives it three new flavors. Uh, those are going to be peach ring, strawberry lemonade, and raspberry. Yeah. All right. Uh, Arms Race announces another foundation flavor in banana cream pie. Uh, also, their thermo is dropping soon. Uh, looks like Arms Race is going to have a pretty big year for 2021. Yeah, so Arms Race, uh, Doug Miller, who owns Core and, and America Labs, he actually is, I think, a co-owner of Arms Race. So... That's why I think it's fair to say if they're already releasing a couple products here, um, they might be looking to have a big year. But I love their branding. I like that brown yeah. paper bag branding that they have. I think it's pretty super dope. Yeah. Uh, all right. The One Nutrition has LFG Pre, Blue Hawaiian, and Intragrape Splash launching soon. So small company there. Thanks. Uh, O15 Nutrition uh, announces a new flavor coming to their Big O protein bars. Yeah, so this is the new uh, Brandon uh, Curry uh, line that is, um, I believe, um, 
the owner of uh, MTS um, yeah. is is in collab or with him. But um, dude, have you seen the macros on that bar though? No, bro. I think it's like four hundred eighty calories. <sighs> But I'm Let's assuming it's it intended more for, like, max <laughs> uh, gaining weight. I mean, I don't really know. I mean, Let's they see. look they, – I hear they're, like, delicious, though. So I'm assuming. Yeah, 480 calories. We're looking at 24 grams of fat, uh, 42 grams of carbs, and 24 grams of protein. So you have so just as much That's a fat bulking snack. Do. Oh, yeah. That is a hefty snack, pal. It better taste phenomenal. I did hear they taste amazing. But... I would hope so. <laughs> if you can make 500 calories taste like ass, I'd be very surprised. <laughs> Actually, I wouldn't. That's a lie because I have seen it done. Um, fun fact, <laughs> ass is a zero-calorie snack. <laughs> you eat ass all day long, and it's zero calories. You're going to lose a lot of weight. Oh, God. All right. Let's get this. We got to keep moving. Uh, so, Granite Supps uh, releases a new advanced joint care product. <coughs> Granite Supps owned by the Mountain Dog, one and only. Yep. Uh, Devotion Nutrition uh, releases Mocha, excuse me, releasing Mocha Java Chip flavor to its protein line. You hit it right. It actually has released as of, I think, yesterday, oh, but... Well. It's all good. Um, Atomic One Nutrition set to uh, release a new product, and it's going to be called Atomic One Gold, which is a test booster. So mm -hmm. I've worked with them in the past. Um, Fusion Sports Performance reveals their chocolate protein is in production. So, yeah, Fusion Sports, uh, we've worked with them. We did their Super Soldier pre-workout. Um, <laughs> they have... A few other products. They had a protein that released as well originally, which was like cinnamon roll. So yeah. this is going to be and and when I was uh, when I saw them talking about it, supposedly it's going to be one of the better chocolates. I mean, so we you know you got to see. I'm the... Yeah, you got to taste it to believe it. It yeah. If you are making the claim that you've got one of the better chocolates on the market, it better deliver. There's a lot of chocolates on the market. Oh, I mean, a lot. A lot. Uh, literally every brand. Over Everyone. God. <laughs> but anyways, I mean, that is something that is lacking, though, is a good chocolate. I mean, it. yeah, when, when chocolate protein and vanilla protein first, like, became a thing, you know, like, yeah. a big deal, the flavors for the time. Because if you were drinking the pre-workout back then, I mean, the protein tasted yeah. amazing. But yeah. I feel like those flavors have kind of still, like, carried that same authentic from the originals to today. And I've only came across three, two or three, that I actually, like, like. I know for a fact Iron Maid is probably one of the best. That one was good. Yeah, that's, that's true. But... Like there's said, very they're few and far between. Yeah, in today's world. Yeah. For sure. So all right, let's keep this ball a rolling. Uh Rep Sports, um, they're releasing a new flavor of their uh, thermal two K. So I think. uh the Kilo Labs hybrid pre workout, new flavor coming in Scruston Ice. Yeah, the Kilo Lab, they're like a small company. Um I think in Houston, maybe, or somewhere down that way. Yeah, that sounds right. Um, I think I got in touch with them. They had said something about sending us that candy cane pre, but um, I don't know. We'll just see. But that's cool. They do limited edition flavors, which we talked about. Um, you know, in today's world, when it comes to pre-workouts, any type of flavoring, if you can do a limited edition run, I mean, yeah. that, that's the way to go. And I think Alpha Line really set that bar about two years ago when they started doing it with their limited releases. And now you see all kinds of limited releases year in and year out from multiple brands. Yeah, I think if you are going to strive to be in the top 10 uh, companies, I think it is going to probably become a must. Yeah. Um, well, it just keeps it keeps your line fresh. You right. know, because 
and, and well, and then you got to have the authentic flavor. There's got to be an authentic flavor with it along with that because you, it keeps your line so fresh. You know, you may have fruit punch and, and blue raspberry that that's your staple flavors, but when you think about <laughs> it, if you have an audience within your brand that loves those that formula, loves those flavors, when you do this limited run of a hundred, two hundred bottles of, yeah. of fucking peach lemonade pineapple mango whatever it is you know that audience can be like oh i need to grab this because it's a limited run they may yep. never do it again so and that's that's another thing so like you like we said i think in today's world you have it's a must have yeah i think the only exception to that rule would be if you are going through like a rebrand or you are significantly growing your line I think an exception True. can be made, but if you're hitting that, especially like the top five companies, you're going to have to. Well, think, I mean, if we talk about, talk about last year when we did our top 20, we mentioned Alpha Lion and um, Core and yep. the rebrands, but if you, Alpha Lion still ended up releasing they their, did, yeah. um, they did one for the Australia event last year. They did their Halloween um and then they did their Christmas. The Christmas, yeah. Yeah, which they released three different products of the Christmas. So, and then Core, Core even did one. They did one for Black yeah. Friday. They did a Black Friday limited release, which um, was cool. You know, I mean, yeah. so, but if, like you said, a smaller brand probably wouldn't be able to do that if they're going through a rebrand. They, we're talking to two companies that, yeah. let's, let's face it, are huge in the market today. So, yeah. It depends on the scale of your business. True. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so is this? Oh, huh. Sorry, misspelling. Bang <laughs> reveals its Valentine's edition uh, bang, which the flavor is going to be delicious strawberry kiss. You'll probably be all over that. Ah, uh, yeah, I do like strawberries and I do like kisses. So yeah. Well, what was the other one you really like? It's their, it was their military one. It's like strawberry that blast, strawberry? and that's yeah, yeah, that's the one thing I, I wonder is if it's gonna be it's a take the on same that. thing. Because I feel like when they did the the kittles or the yeah the kittle flavor, and then they did the military one razzle skedaddle or purple rat whatever it was, those were the two same flavors I felt like. Yeah. Um, just had a different can, but whatever. Either way, <laughs> strawberry you can't go wrong with. I love strawberry. Yeah. Uh, C4 Smart Energy releasing a new flavor of Icy Blue Raz. Speaking of which, I have their most recent newest one here, which is the Black, Black Cherry, Cherry, which I'm yeah. um, not going to tell anybody my opinion in case we decide to do a full review on it. But I'm looking forward. I like these Smart Energies. I'm not going to lie. Um, they um, are more focus driven. Um, yeah. As opposed to energy base, which is which is kind of cool. But anyways, it's cool to see them giving new flavors to their energy drink line because let's face it, let's talk about that. In the energy market, with Bang, Bang has set the stage. You know, they have what, 12, 15 flavors now, whatever it may be. Yeah. And you've got to be able to keep up with innovation and flavors in the energy drink game, or else you're just going to get boring. Yeah. While we're on the subject, I am. Um kind of two parts here. I think the Ghost Energy V2 label finally dropped. I was trying to pull it up, but I would be very excited to see what kind of limited edition uh, energy drinks they're going to do, because I imagine that there's going to be a bunch of them. Oh, like collab-wise? Yeah. That's yeah. Cool. I, 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 yeah, I kind of wondered that when they were moving into that realm, so it could, um, I mean, the, you figure they've already got the Sour Patch thing down pat. Oh, but another thing with them, gosh, th we could probably talk on for this. They yeah. uh, they um, are getting ready to release their RTD protein shakes at some point this year, I think, which is another theory to talk about them doing collabs with that. Chips Ahoy Oreo has been teased. You yeah. know, I mean, they've already got that connection with the company. That's on the Bisco, yeah. So, I mean, man, that I think that might be more exciting if – the RTD part with their protein because I enjoyed the chips ahoy. The nutter butter was okay. I just wasn't a big fan of it. Um, 
when you talk about yeah. ghosts. I mean, flavor is like top notch to them. Yeah. So the label, I pulled it up. I think this was the main part that changed. Um, L carnitine, L terate as carnipure at a thousand milligrams, taurine at a thousand milligrams, natural coffee, or excuse me, natural caffeine from coffee being. Uh, 200 milligrams and alpha GPC at 150 milligrams. I think that part changed too. Um, and neurofactor coffee fruit extract at 100 milligrams. Uh, Astrogen root extract 25 milligrams. Yeah, that wraps it up. Yeah, so you're going to get was the two part that yeah, changed. It's it shouldn't be too big of a difference. I wouldn't think. Um, I think you're still going to have a similar like experience with it. I think it's still going to be that focus driven aspect as opposed to energy base. Um, but yeah. Probably. Yeah, I think um, I could be wrong. I think there was an issue with the uh, L-carnitine, like settling after yeah. so long. I think um, it was something like that. So they switched over. Um, I think that's the ingredient that was doing it. So they switched over, and uh, apparently they haven't been having the same issue, or they don't expect that it. it stays as a liquid form longer. Yeah, so another company we'll be talking about throughout the year, of course. Yeah. All right, sir. Uh, let's see here. HFB Supplements' new Let's Get Stupid pre-workout is up for pre-order now. Yeah, so this is a small company. Um, saw on Instagram. The label looks pretty dope. Not the not the ingredient panel. I mean, it looks okay, but the label itself looks pretty cool. You know. And that's got to be something that draws people in. So, uh, yep. keep it moving through here. Got another small company, Level Up One Fitness, releasing a uh, Level Up Pre Workout XL. So, uh, all right, I'm back. Um, Matrix Kids just launched their pre workout called Peace. <laughs> Uh, that's a typo. I think it's Matrix on, Lids. Pal. Lids. I think. Oh but it's okay, God. kids. Lids. That's the same thing. What? Come Come on. On. <laughs> uh, anyways, new fix. Uh, new product releasing. Biofilm. Uh, Resolve. So I think it's like a gut type product. Digestive. Uh, yep. Redcon 1, new and improved MRE bar. Uh, I think they are, what, softer textured, different textured. Different packaging. <laughs> better, delicious, uh, something, who knows. Uh, getting new flavor. There's probably going to be a 30% off already since these things launch. <laughs> you get a free T-shirt. Um, free t-shirt. You get a free T-shirt. You get a free shaker bottle with uh, any order of a, a container of new MRE bars. Um Anyways, new flavor coming in red velvet, which I'm a personal fan of. I love red velvet. Um, but you're probably not going to see a review on those. Uh, we'll keep hey, it moving. Maybe, maybe. Maybe, uh, maybe you never know. Uh, I have Fred to wait till we get 30% off, though. I mean, I'm not buying them at full price. You which is any day, any day of the week, really. Yeah, you got to wait for the 50% sale. Yeah, I got to get a BOGO. Yeah. One it is. Campus Protein teases a new signature product. Um, it's actually going to be a pump product, and I believe it's their signature product. Um, so it's going to be unflavored, and then they also said that there's one delicious flavor coming with it. So, interesting. Yep. Uh, A&G Labs releases their new Protein Dominance Whey Isolate. Yes, sir. Uh, Vandal Project releases limited edition flavor of their pre-workout in the Rainbow Burst. So I guess like a rainbow candy type deal. Yeah, skittily. Uh, inspired new greens flavor are up for pre-order now. Uh, there's going to be Island Vibes, Malibu Breeze, and uh, Sonoran Sunset. Yeah, and I heard those flavors are fire. That's what I heard. Yeah, wouldn't surprise me. Uh, a couple more. Clean Victory announces their daily green supplement. Planted is releasing this coming week. Yep. Uh, Zeus Subs, uh, OG brand, adding protein prowler to its line soon. 
yeah, I don't know if that's supposed to be prowler or not, but they're adding something to it. It's pre- <gasps> a supplement. Oh, protein product. That's what it's supposed to say. Yeah. Come on, pal. Prowler product, same stuff, man. You know, when you got uh, all this news to go through. Uh, there is a lot of news here today. Touche. Um, uh, I got some extra news that I want to end on. I don't know what you got. You got anything to say? Yeah, I got. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, popular celebrity, The Rock, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, uh, Dwanta. Yeah. Um, he is, I think, working with two or three other people. They're going to be launching a uh, energy drink. So it looks like it's called Zoa, Z-O-A. Uh, little detail here. Formulation will be the first ever ultimate healthy and immunity supporting energy drink to offer 100% vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin B, essential aminos, uh, camu, camu, uh, turmeric, antioxidants, acerola, uh, choline. And then it says that it's going to be supported by a healthy dose of 160 milligrams of natural uh, caffeine from green tea extracts and green coffee beans. Um, it looks like their target audience is going to be, uh, it says, health conscious everyday warrior who lives life positive. So, so it's going to be successful because of the name attached to it. Great. Yep. Um, most likely. Uh, everybody who drinks We could dive be, into it. Everybody who but, drinks it's going to be wearing the Project Rock. You know. Yeah, most likely. Um, you know, 160 milligrams of caffeine, I don't think is enough to compete uh, with what else is out there. Of course, I mean, you're sourcing it naturally. There's that argument. Uh, it's going to also depend. Um, yeah, I'd have to try it because nowadays when you're looking at like Ghost, um, I know <coughs> we have like 200, I think. I think it's like 200. Um, yeah. I think these smart energies have like less than 200 grams of caffeine. So, but they're more along the lines of not that super energy base. These right. are more towards that focus aspect, which is kind of two different yeah. uh, audiences. But I mean, it'd be interesting to try. I, mean, I, love, interesting. I love my energy drinks. I can't lie. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see these things probably being sold everywhere. Oh, yeah. Cheats, uh, your local GNC, completes, all that stuff. All right. Extra news time, my friend. Two things. Okay, you ready for these? These are important, most important things we've talked about. So, um, most people's favorite childhood cereal combines (laughs) with their favorite dessert. All That's right. the tease. Fruity Pebbles, Fruity and Cocoa Pebbles are taking on the ice cream game. Dang. Oh, yeah. And then everybody's favorite, Krispy Kreme, launches dessert mini donuts in strawberry cheesecake, birthday cake, lemon bar, and then chocolate chip cookie dough. Dang. Mini, so they're half the, the calories. So instead of... 2,000 calories, you're going to have about 1,900. That's right. <laughs> All right. Anything you got to add to it? Nah, not this late. Damn, son. Damn. All right. All right. Well, that breaks down the new segment for this week's episode. Um, like I said, this is going to be January, the, what did I say, the 10th through the, the 11th through the 16th. Yeah. Um, We'll be back next week with hopefully some additional news, but until then, we're done. Maybe. That was a big list today. It was, but we're still (laughs) done. We out.